people mm -hmm. are going through stuff. And yeah. so many people right. that are going through stuff don't know the Lord. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And if we struggle sometimes the way we do with God in our right. life, yeah. you can imagine right. the hopelessness and the helplessness yeah. Yeah. that people feel. And our world today is so full of rage. Yeah. Right. And it's, it's because of that. Yeah. Right. People, yeah. people feel like everything is unfair right. and they don't know anything to do about it. Have any of you ever carried any baggage around with you that you needed to get rid of? No, ma'am, never. Drop them. <laughs> Are you talking about my huge bags or my carry-ons? Just, in, just in case bag. <laughs> just in case bag. Yeah. You know, just in case somebody might not understand what I'm talking about, we carry baggage that's full of anger and mm -hmm. things that's full of resentment and mm -hmm. just all kinds of stuff, stuff from the past. Mm -hmm. And I know, like, when I take a trip, you pack, mm -hmm. but when you come home, you unpack. <laughs> right. right. And when we start un uh, unpacking the baggage that the devil's given us throughout our mm -hmm. life, many times you do have to take things out one at a time, mm -hmm. and you have to carefully deal with each one. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing how many years I carried baggage around with me from my childhood because I was sexually abused by my father. And um, I don't even think a lot of times we realize ourselves how much things are hurting us. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I know for me, when I moved away from home at 18, mm -hmm. I mean, I thought I'm free. I've, you know, mm -hmm. I've gotten away from my dad. I am free. But I didn't realize I got away from him, but I still carried the problem in right. my soul. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I was bleeding inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That baggage, I tried to give it to everybody that I met. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to get other people to carry our bags for us mm -hmm. or to, you know, put up with our stuff. Mm -hmm. right. And I know, like, one of the things I had was a big chip on my shoulder. I felt like the, the world owed me something because mm -hmm. I'd been mistreated. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really know. I didn't know how to put that into words. Right. But right. I look back now, and that was part of the reason why I had such a bad attitude. But as I was unpacking my bags, one of the things that God showed me that was so helpful to me is, you know, in Matthew 18, where the, the man had a debt and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the guy had come to collect it and he said, he says he could not pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He could not pay. And God yeah. spoke to my heart and he said, you're trying to make Dave pay for something that your father did to you, mm. and he can't pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He can't pay. So how many times do we try to collect old oh. debts? Mm -hmm. yeah. But God can pay. Yeah. Right. That's good. And he says in several places in his word that he is our recompense. Yeah. He right. will repay. Yeah. And he not only repays, but he gives us double. Mm. That's right. So how exciting is that? <laughs> so in some ways, you actually, if you have been hurt, mm -hmm and you're willing to get well God's way, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you actually are better off to have gone through what you went through no. because now you have the experience plus you get double right. payback mm. for right. the trouble that you went through. Wow, so you're better after the pain than right. you were even before you Come went on. into mm. the pain. It's yeah. so valuable to have yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. You know, people always want to know about trusting God and the only way that we can trust God is to have to do it. Right. right. That's and right. the more you have to right. do it, the more you learn how faithful He is. Yeah. Yes. And so then it does get easier mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. what kind of baggage have you guys carried around? Yeah, wow. I, think I, I think I always, I like to carry a lot. You know, I think I'm known by my friends as a pack rat. I think <laughs> it's just, I do, whether it's burdens or good things or um, trials. Mm -hmm. And I think, I love what you said about asking people to carry our, Bags. our baggage, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes like that fire that God can repurpose and like purify us so we're not like infecting people around us. I think sometimes right. in doing that, we can actually cause right. pain to others right. around us sure. in doing right. that. And I think about like, and then I kind of weigh that against like carrying one another's burdens, which God also asks us to do. But I right. think about it's when you're carrying something, it's always about your posture and your position. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I love thinking about, okay, if I'm gonna go and lift something or I carry something, what's my posture and position? Because I don't think we have a backbreaking kind of God. I mm-hmm. think that we really have a God right. who asks us to, like a good trainer, when you're gonna like lift something, they mm-hmm. say, just bend at the knee. Mm-hmm. And yeah. he like, yeah, he's, right? he, I was just saying, just, just bend at right. the knee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and right. that's the posture of prayer. And I feel that's like good. when I'm taking on a lot, and right. I do that, because I think I can like, carry it. I can carry it. You're I can carry the survivor. it for me. Yeah, I'm a survivor. Yeah. I can carry it for me, I can carry it for you. Yeah. I'll carry it, but my posture isn't bent at the knee. Mm-hmm. And so it's not the posture of prayer. And I think that when, when I have bent at the knee and gotten the posture of prayerfulness, mm-hmm. like that burden becomes light because it's his. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's just bending at the knee. Yeah. yeah right. Oh, I've good. had such a false sense of responsibility in my life because yeah. my dad gave me the responsibility of making sure my mother never found out mm. what he was doing to me. Mm. And somehow or another, he made me feel like it was my fault. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Rather, I mean, that's that's the devil's trick yes, with any yes, kid yes. to make them think it's, it it's fault. your fault. And so mm-hmm. I took on a false sense of responsibility mm-hmm. as a child. And I always say, if I don't have a problem, I'll be very happy to solve yours. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Oh, I just yeah, automatically, <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. Let me mm-hmm. fix. I have to be really careful. I really have to pray about this right. because I will just... First of all, I'm a hard worker and I'm a yeah. doer and I, if there's a problem, I want to solve it. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that aggravates me more than mm-hmm. something that has no solution. It's mm-hmm. like, don't tell me there's no way. There's got to be a way. <laughs> sure. But I, I'll definitely help you carry your bags <laughs> yeah. Yeah. if you wow. even hint that yeah. you want me to. Well, I, think, and, I think it goes yeah. back to what you were saying, though, um, and that is how you let it go. You know, right. people, mm-hmm. I think we all carry it, but learning how right. to let it go. Yeah. And you were saying how when you do it God's way. Right. Yes. That's the only way you're going to get that that balance right. Of, right. of not carrying those right. bags or carrying other people's yeah. bags. Right. It's doing it his way. Is that how you learn yeah, to let and, it go? And what is God's way? Mm. Well, I think we tend to think God's way is always downhill, that it's always easy. But I love that you brought up that sometimes pain isn't punitive. In the economy of God, it's a promotion. And so yeah. I think we tend to think God's way is always easy. Mm-hmm. No, His yoke no. is easy. Yeah. Right. God's way is a higher way. And sometimes that can be more work when you're talking about unpacking. I thought for me, I didn't do it one time. I've done it over and over and over again because the suitcase that I think I've emptied, mm-hmm. that I'm like, well, crud, there it is, busting at the seams yeah. again. Mm-hmm. You know, it's blown up all over my living room. I brought my little girl home from Haiti through the miracle of adoption six years ago. And I really felt like I had dealt conclusively with shame. I was also sexually molested um, when I was younger by people I was supposed to trust. Also thought it was my fault. Um, Also, I tend to have a strong work ethic. And I really thought I dealt conclusively with the shame and all the just um, the lies, I believe, from the enemy from when I was a kid until I brought Missy home from Haiti. And then Missy started saying things like, Mama, because I might say, oh, honey, I am. I just look fat in these pants. And she'd go, Mama, you don't say fat. And I didn't even realize how infected I still was, Mm -hmm. how that bag had kind of snuck back into my bedroom Mm -hmm. and it was still filled with stuff Mm -hmm. until I see it reflected in that beautiful little kid. And I've done a lot more work recently because I thought, I'll be darned. Yeah. If my baby is going to be burdened with the same baggage yeah. that I've yeah. carried around. And so I think we also have to recognize that salvation is immediate. Sanctification is incremental. Mm-hmm. We have right. to keep intentionally yes. going, Lord, yes. renew my mind. You know, see if there's anything anxious in my heart, anything unclean. Because for me, I, I wish I could say I unpacked the bag, put it in the yeah. closet, and never had to deal with it again. But mm-hmm. It has, re- you know, we should yeah. never feel bad when we have to deal with something over and over. Mm. Yeah, I mm. took on the project of writing a book on Proverbs this year, and um, the thing that I came away from that with, so impressed by, was how repetitive it is. Mm. Yeah, yep. I mean, it is okay. amazing how how yeah. how many times mm-hmm. it says the same mm-hmm. thing mm-hmm. over and over mm-hmm. and over, mm-hmm. and that was really refreshing to me. That yeah, that's good. It, it's okay. First of all, as a teacher, it's okay to tell people the same things over and over and over. That's right. I used to feel pressured by feeling like I always needed a new word, but God taught me no, you just need a now word. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it can be, the, good. Can be the same good. message yeah, that's taught on the mind <laughs> yeah. that's right. over and over, but that's if right. it's what people need to hear now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so it is a process mm-hmm. and it does go on for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. And I mean, just yesterday I did something really dumb that I would <laughs> preach and tell people not to do. And mm. as soon as I got up this morning, the devil tried to accuse me. And I'm mm-hmm. so glad that I know that I have authority over him. And it's like, nope, I'm not wasting my morning on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. repented. That's gone. There you go. And wow. so there's no shame in not having arrived. Right. Mm-hmm. Even the apostle Paul said, I've not arrived, but right. I press. That's right. Forward. Toward that mark. Yeah, that's right. But if we talk about unpacking our bags God's way, the first thing that has to be done, it, it has to be handled, it has to be handled thoroughly, and that is you have to forgive the people that hurt you. Yeah. Oh, mm. wow. So good. If you're not going to do that, oh. you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I remember um, years ago something happened. Um, I, I'm talking 30 years ago. Mm something happened uh, to Matt and I, and we were just overwhelmed by it. We couldn't believe that these people had done what they did, Mm -hmm. and we were just in the process of that just happening, and now we needed to tell somebody, you know? So we were Mm -hmm. just in that mode, and I'll never forget, we went over to some friend's house, and it had been a couple months now, and we were just talking about it, talking about it, and we left that we left the door of that home and we went out and we were getting in our car and I just looked up at Matt and I said, we can never talk about that again. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, right. Let it go. We just can't. Mm-hmm. It, 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 we're, we're, first of all, our friends are, are just sucking air right now. Right. You know, we've just bleh, all right. over them. So, mm-hmm. and, but it's, it, what, what you had said is you expect other people to carry your baggage too. Right. Mm-hmm. And so we get so offended when we're offended mm-hmm. and we want to share Everybody that offense with right. you so that right. you're now offended. Right. 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 And and now we're offloading our baggage on to other people. Right. And right. that makes it toxic right. Right. to yes. other people. Right. Right. Because right. man, I have my own bag to unpack. I don't right. need to unpack yours too. <laughs> right. You know, so what do we what do you do with even friends like that? Because I have been a friend like that. Mm. Um, hopefully I'm getting better at that. But there is a point in time when it's like, you need to stop yeah. and you right. have to, you know, and I've been accused of, of people saying, you're not supposed to be nice to that person because of what they did to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Or you're, and so we're <laughs> yeah. now supposed to put on your glasses mm-hmm. and look, yeah. mm-hmm. right. you know, and, and so then you're, you're offended because I'm all right with this over here and these right. people because you're a loving person. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. How do you handle relationships like that when, when you're supposed to carry the luggage too. And, mm. and what do you, what do you well, do? I mean, I think in a like loving that? way, we have to be honest with people. And just, I, I want to give you a word picture because this is something that God gave me. Mm-hmm. When you've been hurt mm-hmm. and you forgive mm-hmm. and you ask God to heal you, if you think about a wound, you, you start to get a scab over it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you're always told, don't pick the scab. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. But every time we talk about what somebody has done to us, mm-hmm. it's like picking the scab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so again. you can't. <laughs> well, and not only that, if you pick it long enough, you'll end up with a scar. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And so right. we can't. I mean, you know, one of the. I mean, to bless, the Bible says, bless your enemies and do not curse them. Mm-hmm. And to bless means to speak well of. That's mm-hmm. right. And to curse means to speak evil of. That's mm-hmm. right. And it's so hard not, we, we want somebody to comfort us, but they really can't. Mm-hmm. Right. Only, God right. Can. Only God can. Right. And so you can talk to God about it right. as long as you want to, mm-hmm. as much as you want to. Right. But I think if you, if you have a friend who is expecting you to dislike the people they like, mm-hmm. then you just have to be honest and say, I really don't have the energy Mm-hmm. to carry any right. hatred around. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm trying to believe the best of people. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to live according to the word of God. Amen. And I love you and I'm sorry you've been hurt, mm-hmm. but I can't be mad at somebody just because you are and I'd like to help you 
right. not be mad right. anymore. Good, yeah. That's so good. I'm going to write that really down. Right. <laughs> yeah. well, I read the other day where Anne Lamont, um, I love her writing. You have to spit out a few seeds because she uses some words that aren't in the Bible. But she says that you know you've created God in your own image when he hates all the same people you do. Ooh. And that just made me go, because of the offenses oh I've carried. Yeah. And sometimes I assume God carries the same offense. Oh, and you wow. just find yourself going, mm-hmm. God wow. sees all of us as his yeah. beloved. Yeah. Right. Whether they've wounded me or not, right. they right. are a Mago day. They carry yeah. the image of the Most High God. And so sometimes I find myself, I had a woman cut me off in traffic recently. <laughs> and I mean, I just went to town on that woman because, of course, I was safe. I was in my own car by myself, so I could <laughs> say naughty things. And um, God didn't. Uh, yeah, no, surely, no, surely not. No, yeah. And, yeah, and she couldn't hear me. <laughs> But I was just like, you stinker. I mean, I had this whole, I had her whole biography written and it was all bad by the time we got to the next stoplight. And I looked over at her and she looked so sad. And I thought, I wonder what happened to her today. You know, I got, Mm -hmm. I got something that I didn't start but I bet what happened to her today was really, really hard. Mm-hmm. And I found myself going, Lord, forgive me mm-hmm. that I didn't try harder to find a place to press in. Mm-hmm. And and I stared long enough. I think she thought I was a nut job. But finally, she kind of glanced up. I think she thought I was going to do or say yeah. something ugly because she knew she had cut me off. And I just smiled and kind of mm-hmm. did a little wave like, hey. And you could tell she was like, what? do I know you? <laughs> One time I cut off my pastor. And so that's always a possibility in Nashville. But... I thought, let me, let me try to go the extra mile with people and not assume it's even about me mm-hmm. if they offend me. Sometimes I just got some of their baggage mm. right. and I happen to, yeah. to be there when it spilled out. And so I'm, I'm trying to be a little more intentional about seeing where I can press into other people's lives with kindness because, goodness gracious, he loved me while I was still a sinner. And I have yeah. people like you right. who know yeah. where the bodies are buried and y'all haven't told anybody. <laughs> And so I, I, I want to see, mm. I want to see the image bearer behind. I think the we always have to remember that hurting people hurt people. That's yeah, right. That's right. That's right. That's that was right. one of the things that the Lord said to me that really helped me be able to forgive my dad. Is mm. that mm. you know even like stories you watch on television. I mean, you watch a story about a criminal. You watch a story right. about you know somebody who just right. does all these unbelievably wicked Evil things, things, and they always have been hurt, hurt. Right. Yep. Yeah. right by somebody else. That's yeah. right. right. And so that's we need to remember that, that people don't just wake up every morning and think, I'm just going right. to go out and see how obnoxious mm-hmm. I can be all right. day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, people are going through stuff, and yeah. so many people right. that are going through stuff don't know the Lord. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And if we struggle sometimes the way we do with mm-hmm. God in our yeah. life, mm-hmm. you can imagine right. the hopelessness and the helplessness mm-hmm. yeah. that people feel. And our world today is so full of rage. Yeah. Right. And it's it's because of that. Yeah. Right. People yeah. people feel like everything is unfair right. and they mm-hmm. don't know anything to do about it. Mm-hmm. Right. Aren't we glad that we can go to God yes. and right. say, you know, I'm just going to forgive. So right. Yes. Boy, have we got yes. a good deal. That's right. a great deal. I, that's I a great deal. I am just going to forgive. That's a great deal. Yeah. Right. What's your reply to the enemy who some will get in there sometimes and think, oh, you just got rid of that rock. You thought so, didn't you? Yeah, right. You know, because that's where I feel like I can sit in shame and in mm-hmm. the quietness of a car when you think mm-hmm. you're done with the issue. You think you've moved past it. You think you're a better hearted woman. Right. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden... That sneaky moment comes back, yeah. and the enemy wants to convince you, see, you're just never going to shake that rock, are right. you? You're just mm-hmm. always going to yeah. carry this. So what's your answer in that moment? Like, what do you say out loud in that moment? Because I think we all face that in, in that quiet moment mm-hmm. in our car. It's like, yeah, you thought you dealt with that, yeah, well, you, But you know, the enemy never stops. Mm-mm. He's yeah. the accuser of, of the That's brother. Right. That's yeah. what he does. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of people feel like they haven't unpacked their bags because... Yes. The enemy will bring a thought to your mind. Right. right. You remember something. And so you just have to rebuke the enemy. With right. In the name of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> it doesn't mean you didn't draw, you didn't unpack your bags. It just means the enemy wants you to think you didn't unpack your yeah, bags. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? Um, the other day I did something just so ungodly. Oh, and detail. I was ashamed. <laughs> Say detail, please. I, I, was, I was just, I was impatient. I was a jerk. I was ungodly. <laughs> I just was. I, I was like and, that. Um, I was like that <laughs> yesterday also. Well, this morning I was. I was. Well, I always <laughs> like to 
I always like to emulate you. You're one of my heroes. So it must have been you that caused me to be such a stinker, yeah. Miss Joyce. But, but I apologize to the person I had been so unkind to. But as I was driving, driving away, the enemy was like, CEC, you can't even live this out. You can't flesh this out. You got so much plus. And for some reason, I thought of, remember, in, I think it's Matthew 11, where, um, where John the Baptist is in prison mm -hmm. and he doubts that Jesus yeah. is the Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And remember, he sends his followers. And of right. course, he's in a horrible pit. Mm -hmm. There's no cable. There's no Pilates. He is in mm -hmm. a pit mm -hmm. and he knows he's probably facing his own death. And Jesus is out dances and with lepers and busting babies. And it doesn't look like he thought it would look like. So he sends his followers to say, are you really the Christ? And you think, goodness gracious. That's John the Baptist. Yeah. You know, he did flips. He recognized right, Christ yeah. when mm -hmm. he was still in utero. Yeah. And here, one of, I mean, he's Jesus' cousin, second cousin. How Doubt dare yeah. Yeah. John the Baptist doubt the divinity of Jesus? You remember Jesus says, go back and remind him yeah. Yeah. of yeah. Isaiah. Captives are being set free. The blind can see. The lame can walk. And then he says, it just slayed me. Mm -hmm. He says, there's no one born of a woman. Mm -hmm greater than John. He doesn't chastise him, even though John's being a stinker. Jesus praises him. And I thought of that. I don't know why. Just the Holy Spirit brought it to mind. Mm -hmm. Driving home to Williamson yeah. County. And I was like, yep, you're right, Lizard. I was a jerk. And Jesus thinks I'm the bomb. Yeah. <laughs> because I just <laughs> held that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. How Thanks good, how kind yeah. he is. So, so I think sometimes that takes the wind out of his sails. Yeah. It's just it like, does. you can tell me yes. all day long I'm a sinner so and you're, you're right. right. Yeah. You're Let right. me tell you, but God Jesus. thinks yes. I'm the bomb. Right. Makes your and he just goes, louder. Dang it. <laughs> you tell it just yeah. totally. He just gets out of the car at that point. Yeah, it it's takes like, Let me his get power car. away because yes, I think all of when we power. engage with somebody when they're accusing, mm. it gives them power to fight, right. to tell him, yep. But the my, truth sets you free. The truth sets you free. <laughs> free. But if you yeah. look at the disciples and, and <laughs> has some you're issues, like, huh? <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. I mean, I you know, Jesus is trying to explain to them what he's mm. about to go through and they're arguing about which of them is the greatest. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, but something that's so good to remember is there's a big difference in wickedness and weakness. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so good. And, you know, I'm not a wicked wow. person, but I am a weak person. Oh, yes, right. ma'am. That's right. And that's good. boy, that's good. The that's reason so good. why Jesus even said some of the great things that he mm -hmm. said about the disciples, it's like, how can you say it about them? Right. With the mess they were. Ah, wow. but. They were not wicked. Wow. Mm. They loved him. Oh. Boy, that's great. They were weak, oh, mm -hmm. but they weren't wicked. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I can go now. I can go now. Oh, that was my word. And I told somebody oh, the other terrible. day, you know, a weakness in me that started in my childhood that I honestly have come to the conclusion, I don't know that I'll ever 100% mm -hmm. Get rid of it, mm -hmm. but I can't do anything other than what I'm doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. that's right. I love God; He loves me. Right. Yeah. And I just told him, I said, it, "It's not wickedness. Yeah. It's weakness. a weakness. Wow. It's, mm. And His strength is made perfect, perfect in, in our weakness. Right. So yeah. we can boast that's in our beautiful. weakness. It's amazing. But I love what you're that's saying. Hard. You know, one of the questions <laughs> we were going to cover today was, um, "When should we unpack?" <laughs> When do you know it's time to unpack? As soon you know, as possible. Thank you. Yeah. As soon as possible. <laughs> because, say, as soon as, as possible. soon as possible. Right? I don't think you can until God puts his finger on it. Oh. Yeah. Does that mean I, confessing it to him? Or? No, I believe the reason why the Holy Spirit is so great at his job mm -hmm. is because he knows the right timing. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, he, it, if, if I undertook to straighten every new believer out, right. I remember one time I was counseling a woman who'd just gotten saved and she was living with her boyfriend. And I was, I mean, I had my plan. I'm going to, today when she comes in, I'm going to tell her that she, she can't do that. You can't, you can't live with that man. And the Lord said, no, you're not going to tell her that. I thought, well, I am going to tell her that. That's what you would tell her. And he said, no, you're not going to tell her that. When I know she's ready, I'll tell her that. And I think, that he brings things up at Holy the right Spirit. time yes. in the right way. Yeah. And he knows just how much we can take and how much we can't take. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to get a better counselor than the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's right. Wow. That's That's right. So, so true. Man. Okay. <laughs> Father, we pray for everybody watching today that 
is carrying baggage. Yes. Maybe some don't even know it. Yeah. And this has opened their eyes or maybe now they're realizing, boy, I do have baggage, but I don't know how to unpack it. We just pray, Lord, that whenever the time is right, and if you're bringing it up to them today, yeah. today may be the time. Yeah. But let them cry out to you because they can't change mm -hmm. without you. It's only with right. you that they can change. Thank you. And I, I ask you to bring the right person at the right time to speak the right word in due season to them. Yes, Jesus. And I pray that everybody will be free from the burdens of their past so they can live the beautiful today mm -hmm. and tomorrows yes. that you have for them. Yes. In Jesus' name we Thank pray you, and expect great results. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. 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 At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.